you can see from the outlines of the box that is very obviously on side Yo, what's up, guys? It's Bella. Welcome back to another video. Today is Sheffield Wednesday versus Shrewsbury Town. Another home match for Wednesday. We figured out that this is our first Saturday afternoon home match in so long since, I think for me, our 3-1 loss against Derby just before the COVID outbreak. But yeah, it's been a long one. We haven't had a nice, good Saturday afternoon home match for a while. Obviously, we've had some this season, but I was on holiday when we had the one against Doncaster when we won 2-0. Uh, of course, I missed that one. But yeah, my past two matches that I've been to have both been away matches. Morecambe and Plymouth, 1-0 uh, loss and a 3-0 loss. It's pretty depressing recently. We've seemed to have dropped off. We were first before those two matches, first in the league. But ever since then, we have dropped off massively. And hopefully, it's just a bit of a blip in form. Not some, you know, proper underlying issues with our team and the tactics, etc. So I'm just hoping that we can bounce back today against a fairly out of form Shrewsbury team who've kind of got the same issue as us. You know, they've only scored five this season as well. We've only scored five this season. So they clearly struggle to score. And our defence is still quite solid, even after conceding a lot on uh, against Plymouth. Like, even before the Plymouth match, we had only conceded one all season. So we have been fairly solid overall and um, obviously Shrewsbury had an awful start to the season they've seemed very ropey defensively so hopefully today even though our goal threat isn't great we can um, you know get a few goals today I reckon it's going to be a 2-0 Wednesday win hopefully fairly comfortable I mean I, I, I said I said this I was very cocky about the uh, Morecambe and Plymouth games and <laughs> look how that turned out but I reckon today in front of what 20 25,000 Wednesday home fans against Shrewsbury we should be able to show what we're worth hopefully and uh, get a good result and uh, you know get the get the players playing well you know because we've been we've been not seeing seeing that recently uh, against Plymouth like no one really played particularly well outstandingly well same with Morecambe really it's, it's been a struggle in the ease away games I don't know what more as fans we can do I mean we I don't think it's an issue of the fans necessarily with Morecambe and Plymouth. It's just been an issue maybe just with the home fans uh, being well supported. I don't even know. Usually people say that they have a disadvantage for uh, for away teams, etc. But I don't really I don't really know if that's a good enough excuse for Wednesday players because our support is just is is very good on away days. So. We'll see, but we'll move on to the lineup in just a sec. Um, as I've said just before this, 2 0 I'm, I'm predicting. Hopefully, we can get the result. We do really need it. We're stuck in 12th, so we need to boost ourselves back up into the table. But yeah, let's move on to the lineups. Come on. So, in goal, we've got Bailey Peacock Farrell. We've got a right back, uh, Hun, left back, uh, Palmer, Dunkley, and I offer centre backs, and then Hutchinson as well, kind of in limbo. I don't know if he's going to be playing as another centre back in a back five, or if he's going to be playing as like a defensive midfielder in the in the midfield three. So, I'm I'm going to go with him playing midfield. I kind of like the idea of Hutchinson back in the midfield, unless unless he doesn't you know get a red, which he used to do all the time. But yeah, I'd say that back four, and then Hutchinson, Hutchinson in midfield, also with Bannon, and finally Adoniran back as well. God, we've missed him. And then the front three for Wednesday today is Lee Gregory, who I think still deserves a spot. Berahino, but I'm assuming on the wing maybe, or if he's playing up top with uh, Lee Gregory, that also works as well. I've been saying Lee Gregory does need a bit of a striker partner with him. He struggles up top alone. Up front with them, Shodipo as well. So let's move on to the subs. On the subs, we've got Wildsmith, Wing, Corbiano, Deli Bashiru, Johnson, Canberry and so so a fairly strong bench it's good enough really but I think the starting 11 itself is probably um stronger than much stronger than the bench and we hopefully won't need much support from the bench today um as much as we did against Plymouth or Morecambe because hopefully we shouldn't concede today and we should get a nice comfortable win however I don't really want to jinx it so uh, yeah, I, I won't say much else to be honest. I don't know what else I can say. I'm just saying the lineup seems a bit odd to the usual, but hopefully the little switch around might work. Whether it's a back five, 
back three, back four, whatever. Hutchinson in the midfield for once again. But yeah, we'll see what happens today. Hopefully Wednesday can get the win. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to head over to Hillsborough now. Hopefully, hopefully we can win. Come on Wednesday. So guys, it's the morning after, again, from the Shrewsbury match. Uh, I was a bit busy last night, so I didn't get home till late. So I waited till to today to record the outro. But yeah, uh, the game, the first, I reckon, first half an hour, just before they scored, we were all over them. We played some beautiful football. Obviously got the first goal, well deserved, very early on. And then got a penalty as well, which was a penalty in my opinion. Uh, well bought penalty by uh, Shalipo. Really good uh, play to win that. And then Bannon misses the target. It's just a shame. But yeah, what can you do? Can't hate Bannon. He's one of our best players. Um, and definitely a legend at this club. So we can't really hate on him too much. Unlucky with the penalty. But he should have put it on target, at least in my opinion. But yeah. Of course, then uh, Shrewsbury gone to get some really scabby goal. I don't really know what happened. I think BPF spilled it again, which is a shame because I do really like BPF in goal. But if he starts making more mistakes like this, especially when we're struggling to score, we're going to have some real problems. So we can't afford for him to con concede any more like that. We'll see the first goal at Plymouth as well. That was a BPF error. So two errors in a row. I just feel like if this was Dawson, everyone would be having to go at him, blaming the game on him, just because it's a new keeper and he's done so well so far. But he really needs to step it up in that department. No more mistakes. Thank you very much, BPF. But as I was saying, their goal wasn't great. And it kind of just killed the momentum for us. Couldn't really do much after that into, this, into the uh, end of the first half. But second half starts and um, I don't know. It just didn't seem the same. We were struggling to get the ball forward. We had a few chances here and there, obviously. And uh, then we went and scored a goal. Shodipo scored. And uh, this is where I have the problem with the whole game, with the refs. So up until this point, the refs have been completely... I mean, they gave us a penalty. And then I felt like they tried to even out the penalty decision and just give us some of the most awful decisions possible, like giving fouls away, giving throw-ins away, or to Shrewsbury. I don't think we got anything. Like, we cheered probably twice when we got some a decision our way. But yeah, Shredipo slipped through. I'll show this on the screen now from a Twitter angle. You can see from the outlines of the box, that is very obviously onside. I don't know how they call this offside, but yeah, this is a really, really, really awful mistake. And uh, yeah, I can't believe it because it's cost us three points there today. And uh, it's, it's just a shame that we missed a penalty as well because it just goes to show <laughs> that we, uh, I mean, I guess we're just unlucky today. Obviously, we didn't, we didn't play amazing. We didn't create many chances, but I said that at the start. I assume we won't make many. But yeah, we rely on moments like this and it gets called offside. So <laughs> what can we do? The refs were awful. Rightfully so, got a massive boo when they came off at half-time and full-time. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. We tried and tried after the second goal to try and get something out of the game, get another goal, but we really did struggle. Shrewsbury were kind of just sitting back and hitting us on some counters, actually having some better attacks than us in some places because we really struggled to get it forward that much. But yeah, credit to Shrewsbury fans. They came in fairly good numbers for a club of their size and uh, the distance as well. So I rate it. Uh, good support as well. They were quite loud. So yeah, I rate that. But overall, today was a pretty poor day, especially on the refs. And I'm going to have to blame on the refs today. Refs and Bannon, unfortunately. The refs, they should be getting that right. It's their job. It's their job. Come on. You can't be getting a decision like that wrong. 
especially when it's very clearly onside, but whatever. Anyway, guys, if you like this one, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BenHarrisYT. On Twitter, I'll just give updates of, uh, of uh, Wednesday news, League One news, and, uh, you know, uh, updates on um, when my video is going to go up. So you can get notified on that earlier than you get notified on YouTube on Ben George. So go follow me on there if you want to. But yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Because I once again didn't enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.